I'm in. It's good. It's good to go. I got a tour. I'm, uh, what is it called? Black card? Yeah, black card. Check it out. Also got a free shirt. Pretty awesome. But, uh, yeah. Uh, it's weird. First time, uh, gym. Some cool benefits, though. Some cool stuff. Just got to take care of a couple more things and then I'll be officially uh, in. Let this begin, this little journey. August 1st, 2016 was the day that I went to go sign up for the gym. The next day, I ended up getting some uh, gym shoes, gym clothes, everything, headphones. I didn't have nothing at all and I just started working out. When I first started working out, I would go on to the treadmill and I would just walk. I actually wouldn't run because I was embarrassed that uh, people would watch me, people would judge me, and uh, I didn't want that. So I ended up living in a dorm in college and I went to college for three years. I graduated and during that three years I didn't do anything at all. I didn't do no events, no uh, activities, nothing besides walk five minutes from my dorm to the school, go to class, come back home and that was it. I would do my homework in my room. I would play. PlayStation, I would work on videos. Hi everybody, and welcome to my channel. You're still here? Don't you have a life? Action. Mic down. Audio check. Okay. Scene 8B, take one. In three, two, one, action! I would watch movies, watch TV, and that was it. During that time, I would eat a lot. I would go to the store, I would get chips and drink pop. During my college time, I was really huge. I gained a lot of weight, and I didn't realize it until now that I look at pictures. I think I was up to 245 is my highest that I've ever been. We are on the set, or going to the set, of the new film that we're filming in the woods. How far is this thing? I used to drink pop all the time, and so I ended up going to the doctor a few times because I would drink a lot of pop, and it came to the point where I would get chest pains and panic attacks, and it was directly where my heart was, and it was the worst pain ever. It felt like I was going to literally die and I didn't like that pain at all. I went to the doctor a few times for it and he basically told me to slow down on drinking pop. And what I ended up doing was I just gave it up all together. I just got rid of it and it's been two plus years for sure that I stopped drinking pop. Before I started my journey, I would buy the 10 packs of Monsters and have like 30 cans in my room. And for four months straight, every single day, 
I would get a can of Monster and put it in my lunchbox and I would have it for lunch. And it came to the point where the caffeine didn't even affect me no more. After college, I ended up getting the job that I have now, but not the position. So what also motivated me to go to the gym was the position that I had at work before I had this position involved a lot of lifting, a lot of walking up and down stairs, a lot of movement, fast pace every night. And so I seen that I started to drop some pounds and uh, people noticed that. And that motivated me a little bit where I'm not doing as much or that kind of work, that much lifting and walking in high pace fast paced, moving, moving, moving. I don't have that anymore. What can I do to replace that? And that is when I also started going to the gym. I've been going to the gym for about almost two months now. And I taken a few days off the past couple of days yesterday. And uh, this past weekend, I took some days off because my tooth again the pain uh, so uh, we'll see how today goes in the gym I was about 215 between 218 and 215 and I had weighed myself a couple days ago and I was at 204 so I lost quite a bit of weight and uh, I could see that I uh, had bought some jeans the other day and I was sitting at 38 majority of my pants were 38s and I had a couple 36s but now I can fit into 36 and 34 so that's real good I started shooting vlogs summer 2016 like summer fall 2016 all right guys this is a nice way to start out a vlog uh, this is something I want to try to do uh, I think it'll be fun Add, add more content to the channel. So is it weird? I can feel my heartbeat and my tooth. I recently got into 36. Now, the pants that I'm wearing are 34, which is awesome. I am now just leaving to go pick up my brother from work. My camera all geared up and everything for the photo shoot. So even though I'm like on this diet type thing, I'll still eat some regular food. So I got this uh, mix yesterday when I got my salad for work. And it's actually pretty good. You can see that it's got the Omega 3's trail mix, which is good for you. It's got walnuts, dark chocolate, soybeans, and dried cranberries. It's actually pretty good and healthy. My car is right there. It looks normal, but it's not. The car is totally messed up and one little hit cost me a lot of money. Make sure there's not a lot of head room. Make sure there's just a little bit because I don't need a lot of money. <clears throat> I ended up taking a break during that winter and spring and I didn't start up again until summer 2017. And during that break I, I really worked hard on myself. I chose the life I'm living. I heard trapping in it. Turn to work the bitch. I tried to get a job, but I didn't get it. So I'm not forgetting. I chose the life I'm living. Go bombs, bad bombs. I chose the life I'm living. Go bombs with the rocks. I chose the life I'm living. Corn fast cars. I chose the life I'm living. 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 When I started doing my vlogs again in 2017, I remember that it was the Spring Awakening. I was going to a music festival in Chicago. So we're here at the festival. That's Marshmallow playing over there. Like the one person that I wanted to see. Yesterday was awesome, but right now we are here downtown 
in Chicago right here is the beat. You can see it's pretty awesome. There is a lot of people. And that was my first one, my first vlog that I was preparing for that. And I would go on to do the next vlog, which was the following week. And I remember that being uh, the first vlog that I looked way skinnier. And it was just like a drastic change. So I had like five months of time in between those two vlogs from filming one to filming the next one. And in, within that five months, I did lose a lot of weight. It is a beautiful, cloudy morning on my way to go get this workout in. My routine changes all the time. From the start, I would do cardio. I would just walk. And then one day I told myself that everybody is here for a reason. Everybody's at the gym to accomplish a goal, either to gain muscle or lose weight or, you know, whatever, to better themselves. And I put that into my head that if people laughs at you because you're a bigger or a heavy set person that is running, they're the ones that look bad because this person over here who is trying to lose weight, who's trying to better themselves, is actually doing work. You can judge me if you want, I didn't really care, but I'm gonna do what I wanna do. And then I just started running every day and I would run between 15 to a half hour on the treadmill. That would be my cardio. After that, I would do full body. I would do whatever I felt like. People do have a strict routine, like they would say arms on a Monday, legs on a Tuesday, chest, back, etc. For me, upper body one day, lower body the next day, to give your upper body some time off to heal, and then cardio, three days a week. And we're speaking on five, six days a week of working out. Just take two, this is the protein that I use. This is the Nitrotech Wheat Golden. I've tried a lot of other ones. I had this one. This is the phase eight. I don't like this one only because it tastes very chalky. I don't really like the taste of it. So I switched to this one, the Nitro Tech. This one gives you 24 grams per scoop. I usually take um, anywhere from one to three a day, just depending um, if I get my protein anywhere else. I'm gonna end up taking this, usually recommended 30 minutes before your workout. So I'm gonna take this while I'm going to the gym. That way by the time I get there and get ready to work out, it's starting to set in. So we're gonna go ahead and take the last two. I didn't really eat a lot. I ate salads all the time. I went to Walmart and bought the little bowl salads every day at lunch. I would have water all the time and I still do. I have water pretty much 95% of the time. Eating salads every day helped me a lot because I didn't consume as much calories. I would burn them off and that's how I rapidly lost a lot of weight within like five months. I started working out at 245. I was 175, 180 around that time when I was shooting the next vlog. Like my eating habits wasn't so good. Eating salads and just salads doesn't help you at all because it's, yes, you are gonna lose weight and you're probably gonna lose it fast if you are going to the gym an hour, two hours every day and then you're just eating salads. Yeah, you're gonna lose weight fast and that's what I did. 
And now that I've started learning and looking at other people and going online and searching uh, what's best for me because it is different for everybody because everybody has a different body. Everybody has a different goal. My eating habits is way better. I actually don't even eat salads anymore. I I haven't had a salad in a while, to be honest. So, and I always get asked all the time, how much weight have you lost so far? How much do you weigh now? And right now I'm at 155. Personally, I would like to lose a little bit more and gain uh, that in back and muscle. But again, slowly but surely, uh, it's way better than stopping. When I started working out, I was still eating regular food. I'd go out on the weekends and you guys see it in my vlogs all the time. Being consistent on eating healthy than to be eating unhealthy, it's balance. You don't want to overdo it because then you're gonna not go nowhere. Don't feel bad and for me, I still have a hard time. I, I really do still have a hard time. Like wanting to get food so bad that's not healthy. Today it's still hard for me on my eating. It's gotten better, but it's still, it's really hard because I put in a lot of work on this journey on my body, many hours and hard work and pain to get to where I'm at. And so it's very hard for me to like decide on food. That's really the hard part about losing weight is the food because it's everywhere and there's so much unhealthy food here. David always tells me that I should eat more and he's right, I should. And so that is something that I do need to work on and I'm still trying to work on. It's like, oh, if I don't eat as much, then I, I'm obviously not gonna gain weight. There's a lot of work. It's not easy. It is not easy at all. There's so much to learn. There's so much to do. There's so much to stay on top of everything. It's really easy for people to say that I want to lose weight. I want to lose five pounds. I want to lose three pounds. But really saying something is way easier than doing it. I can sit here and say that I want to lose 20 pounds in one month. But to actually go out and do the work, it's really hard. It's, it's challenging. It, it was so hard for me to get to where I'm at today. To this day, it's still a little bit um, hard because I don't have a strict routine on what I stay on. I kind of always just change it up all the time, which is something that you should do. You shouldn't keep the same routine all the time because you want to push yourself to get better and keeping the same routine isn't going to do that. So I'm always constantly changing my routine. It is hard 
working out every day. My motivation was just to finally reach a goal that I could work hard towards. We just got a good workout in. I feel like I have more time now that I switched my workouts in the afternoon. On the weekend, it's a little bit different. On the weekends, I tend to just fit my workout any time of the day that I have. I work out in the mornings, in the afternoons, at night, two o'clock in the morning, 12 o'clock at night. But when I first started working out, I would do a 10 hour shift, a third shift. I would get out of work and go straight to the gym and work out for at least an hour every day. And it was hard work because at the time I lived about 45 minutes away from the gym and I could feel myself and I remember um, at least a few times that I would swerve off the road because I was way too tired and it was it was really dangerous. Up until the beginning of this year I ended up working out in the afternoons which is way better for me. I sometimes think to myself how I how did I even do it and people ask me all the time how did you work third shift and then go to the gym right after I just did it there's been times where and this was at the beginning where I started working out I would drive to the gym and sit in the parking lot and question myself do I want to work out today there's been times where I was so tired I would take like a five minute nap in the parking lot and told myself, nah, if I really want this, then I have to put in the work. So I went in, went to go exercise, went to go work out. There's been multiple times where I was tired. I didn't feel good at all. I felt sick. It's very uncomfortable going into a journey like this. You're rarely gonna feel comfortable you're going to be tired, you're going to be sore. Um, there's been times where I would work out a muscle too much and I was sore. There's actually been a couple times I actually remember that I worked out my legs too much and I couldn't walk. Recently, about a few months ago, I worked out my legs too much. Why? 3K run. Whatever. That's it. it just makes it sound horrible. Yeah? I'm not. Like, three miles is enough. How does it feel to walk this? To walk again? Feels so good and it was so painful to move, to walk, to even sleep. And it came to the point where I had to almost call off work at the last minute and I didn't. I ended up going to work that night. It was slow and painful, but I got through it and that lasted about two days. So there was times where I could barely walk because I would overwork a muscle and it wasn't just my legs, it was my arms all the time. It was my back, it was my shoulder. You're going to want to give up. And for me, I didn't give up, not once. I kind of just stuck through it. I was very dedicated. I was very strict on what I wanted. And I just stuck through it. I remember a couple times at my work, there would be people asked me if I'm okay. Am I sick? Like, what's going on? And they asked those questions because they would see me lose weight. They would see how drastically I lost weight. And they thought that I was sick. And I told them, no, I wasn't sick at all. It was just putting in hard work, working out every day. So many people ask, how did you do it? How did you lose weight? How did you lose weight so fast? What do you do? What is your routine? What is your diet? What do you eat? It's different for everybody. If you want to lose weight, you want to not eat as many calories as you burn. You want to burn more calories than you consume. 
that is how you're going to lose the weight. So going into a journey like this is very hard. There's going to be times where you feel great, you look great, and there's going to be days where you feel like you just want to give up, you're down. I just want to be an inspiration to them, to let them know that it is possible with hard work. It is possible to accomplish any of your goals. You can work hard towards something, but it's never going to be easy. There's going to be uphills and there's going to be downhills. You have people behind you no matter what that support you in your goals and your dreams. I just want to let you guys know that it is possible to reach goals with hard work, with dedication, having a strict path on what you want to do. It doesn't matter how slow you go as long as you keep going. I just want to thank everybody who has supported me, who gave me um, the knowledge that I have today, the support, uh, the compliments. I just want to thank all family and friends who have watched me be who I am today, who was there from the beginning.